so good evening all and thanks for joining us with with us today i hope everybody is having a great day you know my, myself udaya an automation consultant uh, on behalf of edna technologies i'll be taking you through the today's session on business improvements through workflow automation using microsoft technologies continuous improvement is a key in any process and we will be dwelling into the a uh, world of automation using microsoft technologies and how it is going to improve your process today so with that introduction i welcome you all to the uh, today's session to set the stage i would like to pose a question in uh, today's dynamic business landscape what are all the numerous challenges that we can think of that every business is facing so let's think through this as we explore automation's role in addressing those challenges so in the ever evolving world of business today there are many challenges that we can think of that demand our immediate attention so these challenges make a compelling case for embracing process improvements so first we can um, as a first thing we can talk about the burden of the manual and repetitive task right so actually uh, usually these manual task heavily um weighs on the workforce and the uh, jobs like uh, data entry and copy pasting and data processing are uh, not only time consuming things but prone to human errors so then we can think through our business process itself as it got evolved into intricate workflows with uh, multiple steps and dependencies from multiple persons are needed there so navigating through this complex landscape is uh, not always been easy right so, and then we can think of our data data of modern business comes in large volumes and with the different varieties so integrating this these diverse data from various sources is difficult and uh, transforming these data into actionable insights to to provide a meaning to this data uh, which is available with uh, with us uh, can be even more difficult and then invariably we can think of as the business grows process how to scale up alongside so we must adapt to meet these rising demands effectively which is often a struggle with the with our conventional process by understanding and carefully realizing these business challenges we can spot the top areas where companies are placing their hopes on business process automation so generally these areas include overcoming bottlenecks which slows down processes or eliminating the duplication of work and on improving interdepartmental uh, dependencies or interactions and simplifying the task of locating our uh, files or document and uh, gaining more comprehensive visibility to business process on talking about business process automation it is a versatile tool that can be applied in various domains uh, one can start with something as fundamental as document management making it to organize and uh, to uh, have access to uh, crucial uh, important files and the business process automation also lends its powers to workflow automation where we handle a series of uh, um uh, task uh, even we can um, send uh, send uh, it for uh, approvals and alerts like sending reminders or notifications to the users once we decided which process needs to be automated the workflow can be built by laying out the steps and working to streamline the process no matter the field is so like this one can embrace uh, automation um irrespective of the uh, the uh, the field of work right from the marketing to client management or support uh, customer support a business process automation behind the scenes work for the every business benefit now taking the case of workflow automation for today's session let me start what is this workflow automation to put it in a simple way wherever our business encounters a uh, repetitive and manual task there lies an opportunity for workflow automation i would say uh, this workflow automation is the art of using our rule based logic to eliminate uh, the need for manual intervention with any task which we are doing so we can consider a scenario uh, which is provided uh, which is shown here as an example uh, we can take this case when when a new employee is hired an automated workflow can be created to immediately send um, uh, an employee a welcome email and guide them through the process of filling out their new hire uh, paperwork uh, uh, like everything which is needed uh, for the new employee to be created and it ends with the submission to the hr department so with workflow automation users basically set a trigger for a series of action 
so as uh, for this taken example, the trigger is as we are seeing in the step one is whenever a new employee name gets added into some list, then the series of actions are going to get takes place. So users define the series of tasks that are necessary to complete uh, the uh, process uh, uh, in a sequent way in a, in a, with sequence. After defining this sequence, the automated workflow will carry out the assigned actions and thus uh, how this workflow automation works. Let's check how intelligently this automation is possible using technologies under one roof of Microsoft. Yes, under the single roof of Microsoft, one can think of automation as a combination of technologies. We have Power Automate to digitally automate processes, which brings together cloud automation with multiple core capabilities to have a connected platform. This be very well integrated across native or third party applications using the connectors as well. And we have robotic process automation, which is a UI based automation to automate activities on the desktop using desktop flows. And uh, these technologies can easily be infused with artificial intelligence like AI builders. We have got with Microsoft, um, I mean the Power Platform component, and we have Azure AI services to use for any kind of performing jobs like analytics or document processing and so on. And we have business process flows which guide multi-step processes to users. And we have a process mining capabilities which helps one to understand and analyze the bottlenecks in the business process so that one will get the recommendation on how to improve using the automation. So as these technologies in combination can be used for intelligent automation, what it actually brings to our business. Let's take a look at the benefits. Automation, we all know automation reduces the time required to complete tasks uh, and processes, thus making everything uh, to happen in a faster way. It's like having a turbocharger for your operations, leading to improved productivity and quicker results. And in minimizing the need for manual error, definitely automation is a cost saving choice. Over time, these savings can be substantial and you can re redirect those uh, resources who were earlier involved to any other areas of crit I mean, uh, critical areas which require uh, their attention. And we know human errors can be costly and frustrating and with any process precision matters, right? So especially when it comes to data entry and data processing, automation technologies come to the rescue by significantly reducing the likelihood of errors. So this ensures automation ensures a higher level of security and reliability in our processes. And automated systems adapt seamlessly to increase workloads and business expansion uh, without requiring the proportionate increase in resources. So whenever your business expands, this scalability you're going to get with the automation processes. So the overall picture is that automation fuels up uh, to the increased productivity and cost reduction and greater accuracy, which every business process needs, wants. So which ultimately results in higher increases in revenue over time. Let's take a look at uh, automation and analytics here. The power of automation can be supercharged with analytics journey always by seamlessly integrating with the other components. So we can take here, um, uh, as it is shown here, um, uh, Power Apps and Power BI are the um, uh, the components of Microsoft Power Platform. So Power Automate can be very well integrated with Power Apps and Power BI technologies. So when Power Apps enable uh, one to create a custom application tailored to meet your specific business needs, with that application in place, Power Automate can be easily integrated with it. And by integrating Power BI uh, easily to the Power Automate, one can transform the data collected out of this integrated system uh, to provide you an actionable insights. So uh, basically, uh, this automate the responses into metrics. And metrics generated will be analyzed again by using Power BI to identify the critical issues for resolving. So together, I can say they can dr drive your business process with unmatched efficiency. So with that being discussed uh, here for our demonstration for today uh, on the workflow automation, consider this scenario of purchase approval process. So um, the automated solution works in this way. 
the purchaser will send a mail with attachments of selected vendor code and uh, the details from that uh, vendor code file will be transcribed from the code file to generate automatically a comparative report and presented to approvers in an easily analyzed visual format and on approval the transcribed information from vendor code will automatically get entered in by invoking ERP system to create purchase order. So what we are going to uh, see is the demonstration uh, where our automated system will invoke the uh, ERP. Now we are going to see uh, with the Microsoft Navision, but our, our solutions um, are okay, can be versatile and it is very well uh, integrated with any other ERP softwares as well. And uh, this can be very well be extended to capture the end to end process also right from purchase request creation till the vendor invoice update with ERP system. Uh, but considering the time li limits provided for today here, uh, we will show you the automation solution from vendor codes to the purchase order creation. Uh, so let's get started with our demonstration here. In this demonstration, we will take you through an efficient automated purchase approval process. The automated process starts simply with a mail from purchase person who collected vendor codes for the requested items. To initiate the process, all they need to do is attach the selected individual vendor code as it is received from vendor. I'm sending it to a designated automation ID to initiate the process. Upon receiving this request, our automation solution swings into action. It extracts essential details from the submitted PDFs, compiles them into an insightful analysis report and sends it off to the first approver, typically the purchase manager in our process. The approver receives an Outlook email that contains all this information to make decision along with attachments of the vendor codes provided by the purchaser. As you can see, the approver can open and see the file details for his reference. Our solution goes a step further here to create a comparative analysis by leveraging automation infused with artificial intelligence. This eliminates the need for manual task. And further, by seamlessly integrating with Power BI, one of the components of Microsoft Power Platform to create a visual chart which aids in decision making. This visual chart is generated in real time using the data extracted from vendor codes. But we don't stop here. We also provide a vendor matrix report, a task that typically involves intensive manual work by conventional process. With predefined weightage for various criteria, ratings for each vendor are assigned and then calculates vendor scores and provides recommendations on which vendor to select ideally. Well, this demonstrates the advanced analytics capabilities integrated into this solution. Now, approver can select their preferred vendor easily from the list of vendor options provided here. Additionally, they can choose to approve or reject and also comments can be made just by typing in their reason for selection. Actually, this ensures transparency and communication with all the stakeholders involved. Thus, the approver can make a data-driven decision just with the help of the presentation provided in their outlook. With that, it's time to move on to the next stage of approval as approval hierarchies are a crucial part of the workflow. For example, we consider now the CFO receives the same set of attachments, including the original vendor codes, along with the system generated consolidation report, which they can open the file and refer for the details. Just like the previous stage, we provide our analytics dashboards here as well. Within this dashboard, you will find insights about the unit prices quoted by vendors and the lead times they offer for delivering each items. And the vendor rating matrix. The rating matrix will eliminate the intensive manual work involved with the conventional process. So hence, uh, by equipping this approver with the tools they need, we can make an informed decision here as well with the second stage of approval. So at this stage, additionally, this approver is informed about the vendor selected by the earlier approver. So that was done by the purchase manager in our process. They have the option here as well to click on approve or reject. And of course, there is a comments field wherein they can provide their reason 
for which they are selecting uh, the approve button or reject button here and this uh, typing in the comments will ensure the transparency and clear communication with the rest of the process members. So with that, as we reach the final approval stage here, the process loop comes to an end by sending an acknowledgement to the request initiator, that is the purchaser here. They will receive a notification confirming the successful approval and about which vendor has been approved. Furthermore, they will have access to the reasons provided by the approvers. And it doesn't stop with the approvals. We also seamlessly integrate with the automated purchase order creation in the business ERP system. For this demo, we are showing this process using Microsoft Navision, but our solution is versatile and can integrate seamlessly with any ERP system or any native applications your business uses. So once the final approval is given from the Outlook, our bot invokes the ERP system automatically as you are seeing. It can either enter the vendor details if they are found to be new or proceed directly to the purchase order generation tab in case of the registered vendor. The details being entered are automatically taken from the selected vendor code file. So with the vendor registration done, the auto generation of purchase order will be initiated by the bot as designed. To create new purchase order, the vendor number will be entered by the automated system here and populating other required fields on its own. So with the approval process we have seen, vendor 1 was approved and so the details of vendor 1 from code are filled in here. And system moves on to enter the item details as per the code. As we are seeing, we can also process multiple item order details taken from the single uh, code file, vendor code, with the quantity and the quoted value and the expected delivery date as provided in the selected vendor file. So once every details needed are entered, new purchase order will be generated automatically. Now we can verify that purchase order just created using the details of approved vendor code. We have seen the entire automated process powered by Microsoft Technologies. The process began with the purchasers sending vendor codes from Outlook to be automated using Power Automate followed by seamless automated approval workflows in Outlook provided with AI-driven data and analytics and now ends with the auto-generation of purchase orders in the ERP system using RPA. This end-to-end -end automation showcases the power of technology in simplifying multiple complex tasks involved and streamlining the business process. And now we need to take at a glance what will happen to this request when any of my approver is going to reject, which means um, the approver is not interested to uh, approve any of the shared vendor codes. So now it is getting rejected and the system will send an information to the uh, request initiator that is the purchaser about the rejection with the reason which will help them to further work on. With that, we close. So uh, after seeing the demonstration, uh, I hope by now we have realized the, uh, the capabilities of automation using Microsoft technologies and the necessity to go for the automation for adding business process uh, improvements. Uh, so uh, by now you must be thinking about uh, about your business process uh, need uh, where we need to be automated uh, by our automation solutions. Um, so um, we are glad to share with you how our automation solutions stand out. Um, the solutions which we offer are uh, customized to suit your business needs. So we ensure that our solution seamlessly uh, is, uh, is, uh, is going to be integrated uh, to fit into your business operations just like a tailor-made suit to you. And then uh, security is paramount in this digital landscape. And our automation solutions take data security to the next level, uh, which are equipped uh, with uh, cutting edge data security features that protect uh, uh, your, your valuable business information at every step. 
and then the solution uh, which we design is uh, is going to be device agnostic whatever we develop like we, we have this in our mind uh, like uh, this has a device com compatibility whether you are on your computer or on your tab or your smartphone our automation solutions are always at your fingertip so that's the reality we offer and then uh, the integration coming to the integration part our solutions very well integrate with any um, applications even the third party applications um, the solutions can be integrated and making the uh, your work process to work smoother and uh, with more efficiently it can work so with that we wind up the uh, uh, session on workflow automation. So if you are ready to embrace our automation solution to your uh, business process, then uh, reach out to us. Um, uh, we found uh, we, we believe that uh, you found this session uh, useful and thank you very much for joining with us. This demonstration.